Documents reveal the bullet was not meant for six-year-old Angel Hooper. Angel was caught in the middle of a revenge shooting that started with a fight at a nearby park and ended outside a convenience store. Prosecutors charged two men, Howard Chase and Leandre Smith, with second-degree murder. We have live team coverage tonight. KBC 9 Taylor Harrison is outside the 7-Eleven where Angel Hooper was shot. We begin with KBC 9's Eli Rosenberg, who's been digging through court documents detailing the horrific tragedy. Eli. Well, guys, the murder of six-year-old Angel Hooper was always senseless. But tonight, there is such anger from the mayor to Hooper's family on down, as we learn a lot more from these court records right here. This all started with a fight between two women at a nearby park exactly one hour before Hooper was shot and killed. This murder never made sense. Not that any murders do. But this one involved Angel Hooper. Just six years old, shot outside this 7 Eleven. That bullet was not meant for this six year old Angel Hooper. It never made sense and doesn't now, as these court records associated with the arrest of two suspects charged in Hooper's murder paint such a violent picture. An hour before the shooting here, there was a fight between two women at a local park. One of the women left in a black Mazda, court records say, but someone in that car fired a gun into the air. Exactly one hour later, at 7.15 at the 7-Eleven on Blue Ridge, shots are fired at that black Mazda from another car. The bullets missed the people inside. One bullet, though, didn't miss Angel Hooper, who was at the store just buying some gum. I'm sick of people getting killed in this city over nothing. Mayor Sly James angry tonight, outraged as these two sit in jail, charged with firing those shots that hit Hooper. It drives me nuts. It's indicative of what our thought processes have become. Got a problem, get a gun, kill somebody. And we have got to get away from that. She um, remains one of Kansas City's most tragic homicide victims. Now, Howard Chase was arrested after a massive police response on 67th and Bell Fountain yesterday. Leandre Smith, meanwhile, was arrested 11 days after Hooper's murder on an unrelated charge. Both remain in jail tonight without bond. Eli Rosenberg, KMBC 9 News.